cannot keep giving away errors. We're looking for a fucking block out of this timeout, all right? Let's do it, man. Come on now. Texas was a really great experience. It was a new chance to kind of uh, get some more guys um, on the court. And uh, we ran into two great teams. I um, thought we played pretty well at, at Spurts, but just uh, the consistency wasn't quite there. It was one of those games that we, it was like a big game and we needed to see where we are, like, you know, skill-wise, connection-wise, bonding-wise. So I think those games helped us a lot because we saw where we were and after those games we had, had eight-day break, which is eight-day practice before the other big game, Hawaii. Our freshman year, we beat them twice at home. And then we played them in the national semifinals and they beat us in five. Last year they beat us twice. So this is kind of like, I guess, revenge. So they're going to come out swinging. Um, they don't want to be here in Muncie, like cold. They want to go back to sun, uh, sunny, warm weather, so they're going to try to just get out of here. But I think we can do it. We can give it, <laughs> we can give it to them. They don't want to be in Muncie, okay? They want to be back in the, the sunny. <laughs> Dad, you're not even answering either. Hey, all I know is they want to be back in the sunny. <laughs> it's a new game, new year. It's at home, we're gonna have a good crowd. We gotta feed off that and, like Dad said, start off strong. What'd you say? I said, and like thinking about last weekend, I said, instead of thinking about everything that we did wrong, like me, like getting into the block or serving it out, focus on things I did right and think about that. Yes. It's just like have a positive attitude, is what they said. Uh, the question was. I think the positive attitude is, comes more from like knowing that it could have been better, yeah. right? Like, hey, we have a higher level we can get to. So like, yeah, we made a bunch of mistakes and there's some not clean play. And like, if we focus on that too much, we get negative, but focus on it enough to say, hey, we can fix this because we know we can be better than that. And if we're better than that, like the high level is way higher. We got 23 guys in the gym. And even those guys that are a little bit further down the depth chart, they want to win. And staying positive when things aren't going your way is not easy. We're just not seeing the results we want, but I think we're on track. And keeping your mindset there, I think, helps you stay positive. But I think it's more like stay motivated and stay hungry for the things we said we want to accomplish. And I think that's the bigger piece. Playing Hawaii is good because they are at the top end of their conference and we want to see what we can do against the best teams in the country. It's, you know, a high level game. They rank number four. Oh, it's definitely a big matchup. Close to home, obviously. Being able to get the team from my home state is pretty neat and fun. And I grew up watching that team. When I was younger, that was my aspirations was, you know, I want to play volleyball because of what those guys did on TV. The DNA of volleyball here in the town of Muncie is just unbelievable and it definitely reminds me of Hawaii. Volleyball in Hawaii is like super big. It's one of the most like watched sports. Most people arguably would say volleyball in Hawaii is definitely like its number one sport. I think just because you have like Obviously the University of Hawaii doing so well and then you also have the aspects of beach volleyball and high school volleyball is huge there as well. It can almost be a sense of 
revenge for, for both teams, I would say. I mean, when Hawaii came out here two years ago, we weren't at full strength defending champs, and we lost both times. In the national tournament, we wanted to see Ball stay in the tournament. Ball bounced our way a few times, and we made it to the final, and I think for Ball State coming out to Hawaii last year for two matches, we were able to win both of those. It's a nice rivalry. If I'm a volleyball fan, I want to see this match because it's two really good volleyball teams that play at a high level that now are starting to build some interesting like storylines, so it's cool. It's the Ball State Cardinals going up against the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. This has become a rivalry game for these two teams. We don't see this very often at Worthen. There are certain matches that are circled on the calendar each and every single year. This is one of them. Getting up tall, those strong arms, and Savisky win. He gave them no chance. This time it's Ball State. We got the job done. Ball hitting the ground in Hawaii takes set number three. Patterson getting up there. And that'll do it for this match. It was a hard fought battle on both sides, but ultimately it's the four seed Hawaii Rainbow Warriors who will leave Worthen Arena with the victory. Three sets to one. We basically come here every day, almost the whole team, if we don't have class. Normally I have class at 12 on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, so I don't get to come to North with the team. I'll just like starve my classes for three hours. Um, but on these days I have an extra hour, so it's fun. I bet you'll see 20 of the other guys in here. Yep, poor said. I get yeah. buffalo chicken and bacon. Today's, uh, today's tomatoes, lettuce, and chipotle mayo. And that's it. Every day. Little day in the life going on? Or what's going on? Yeah. I gotta go do some stuff. See you, Doc. I feel like I've met my best friends here for life. They mean everything to me. Everything, like, just being at school, that's the reason, only reason why I want to come to school, why I want to go to volleyball, why I want to even go do extra stuff with them. It's because of them, because they're awesome. They make everything so much more fun. They're always there for me. So yeah, they mean, they mean everything. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but I was in the transfer portal over the summer, and I decided I wanted to come back, and Don't and thankfully took me back. So kind of just being here, now, it's not a miracle, but it's kind of just like a long shot for me. Like that, the fact that he took me back, and the fact that I'm still on the team and able to play, I'm just happy to, just to be here. I mean, I love all my teammates. I love the school, and volleyball has gotten a lot better. So. You know, I didn't really realize when I entered like how much of other stuff I actually love the school. Like besides volleyball, I kind of focused too much on that, and then I lost sight of the other stuff that I had here with the friends. Um, I'm in a survivor club. Um, I do really like the campus, love the house, love my roommates. And I know that I'll always have those guys for the rest of my life. Well, I was going to have class from 12.30, 1.45, but it got canceled. So in the meantime, I'm going to head to the library, these fools, um, do a little homework, and then I have a meeting for Ball Fiver at 2, so we'll strategize for a little bit. And then I'll probably um, head home for a little bit, get a little snack, maybe lay down for a bit and then right back to the arena. Dude, I'm, I'm excited to start conference tonight. Yeah, I think we, we've really hammered home this message of 
trying to focus on the things that we're doing well and not try to put so much energy in all this uh, in some way looking at these negative results we've been getting in some things but uh, tonight is a chance for us to start on a very positive note in conference um, all of you guys understand how important it is for us to do well in conference because the conference tournament champion is the one that represents the league at the national tournament and these results matter. I don't want to put pressure on this game that is unnecessary, but the fact of the matter is we play in a conference and the better we do in the results puts us in a better seating at the end of the year. Um, and that's just volleyball, that's how it works. And I think to be able to embrace that challenge is really important today. And that's gonna take all 23 guys that are out there. If you're on, you're off the court, like we gotta be all in, man. It's been a grueling non-conference schedule endured by both of these squads, but the gauntlet does not stop here. In fact, the intensity is about to take one step forward. It's time for conference play, and it's time for the Ball State Cardinals to host the Loyola Chicago Ramblers. committing yourself to this idea of the challenge of like getting to the pinnacle I think is is so key and a lot of times we get so fixed on this idea of um, of winning that we lose sight in the value of losing um, and I think that that message is so important for so many people to understand and, and and not even like listen to or hear but just be reminded that like if you have these lofty goals and you have this idea of trying to do something special, something that um, only an individual champion has done here at Ball State, um, you got to be willing to like, you know, get your feet uh, grounded and really dig in because it's not all um, rainbows and butterflies when you're trying to do something special. 